everyone. This is Diane at the Picket Fence Greenhouse and Gardens, and today we're going to talk about storing your caladian bulbs. Caladians are a bulb-like plant that is tropical. They like a warm conditions, okay? So when fall comes and when, you know, when it starts getting cooler at night, you're going to want to either dig your caladian bulbs up or bring your pots in if you had them in pots, okay? Caladians multiply every year, which they make their own little tubers, their own little bulbs, and each spring you can put them back out again once it remains above 50 degrees. They do not like anything below that or you're going to notice them wilting. So what I did a couple weeks ago is I brought my caladium plants in. They were in containers. They were wilting, and I knew the nights were getting cooler, uh, below 50 at night. I mean, I could have let them die back. I could have let the frost take them, but we haven't had a hard frost yet. So I just thought, well, I'll just bring them in. And what I did with them is I cut back the growth, and now all there is is bulbs in the containers. I am going to show you a few pictures right now of what these plants look like in the summertime. They were just gorgeous. I started them actually downstairs in my basement on a heated mat and I covered them until they started rutting or still they started sprouting up. Once they started sprouting I took them out into the greenhouse and they just flourished out there. Once it got warm enough outside I planted them in pots and I took them outside. So I'm going to show you a few pictures of them and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with storing these caladium bulbs for the winter. Okay, here is my container that I brought in a couple weeks ago because, like I said, it was really cold. As you can see, there's no foliage plant. I took and I cut all these down. Okay, I cut everything down. This is in a peat perlite mix that will be fine to keep them in this container all winter. I have them in my back patio here. It's going to be 50 degrees and above. Um, it won't get any warmer than 55 probably come winter. You don't want it any warmer than that. Otherwise, as you can see from this pot, you're going to start having more growth. I'm going to pinch them off. And what you want to do is you want to check this pot during the winter to make sure there's just a little bit of moisture. Not much, just a little. Otherwise, your tubers, they might dry out. Okay. I'm going to show you one. I had one dug here. Here's one. Just wanted to show you what they look like. Here's the little bulb, all right? And this is where the growing point, where it was growing out. And I took and I cut that off, okay? See all the nice, healthy roots? These normally will multiply, so I should have several in this pot. Come spring, I am going to pull all these up, and I am going to pot them in individually in pots. Okay, I'll put that one back in there. If you are digging them out of the ground, which you need to be doing after the first frost that kills off the leaf area, the leaf part, you need to bring them in, lift them, and then maybe store them in a box or a container with some peat moss. Okay, and check it through the winter, like I said. Um, Caladians, if they get below 50, you're going to do some damage to them. Uh, stay at 50 or above and they'll be fine. I'm going to put this in a dark place back here. I might cover it a little bit and come spring I'm going to, you know, I'll be checking them through the winter but come spring I'm going to be lifting them and planting them so I'm excited to do that. But uh, you can see by the pictures how, fl how they flourished. Now there's nothing but that's okay. This is how they, this is how it is. And caladians are just such a pretty shade uh, annual plant in our area. Uh, they're tropical. They, they can handle, you know, warm, warm areas. So I hope that's helped in some way today. So this is video was regarding storing your caladian bulbs and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Bye.